Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about how you can encrypt your phone calls and text messages. Normally when you talk over a cellular system, you're safe. But in recent months, the FBI has put everyone on alert because Chinese hackers. <laughs> and I've got to show this screen because I created it. I don't know if that looks like a Chinese hacker, but we'll just go ahead and use it anyway. And I love the way that computer looks. I mean, that thing is ancient. But I should say Chinese state-sponsored hackers, that would be the correct term, have recently been discovered in the U.S. cellular network. Now, under normal circumstances, the cellular network is safe, but there has been a new technology that's been released by Apple that allows both Apple and Android devices to connect together. And it may be the reason why this data breach has occurred. Now, everyone who has a smartphone wants to see a happy marriage between an iOS device and an Android device. Although that picture shows two iPhones together, but we're not gonna worry about that. But anyway, everyone wants to see a good relationship between Apple and Android devices. And that has recently occurred because of a technology that Apple's released called RCS or Rich Communication Services. Now the whole goal between Rich Communication Services is to allow Apple and Android devices to communicate in a more enriching way. Hence the word rich communication services. Normally, Apple and Android devices and even your old flip phones would connect via SMS text messaging. That means you would have the basic ability to send a plain text message to an um, iPhone or vice versa to an Android phone and provide communication on a basic level. But Rich Communication Services, uh, it allows people to send out high resolution photos and videos. And it also supports the ability for read receipts, which is important if you are currently communicating on an iPhone or on an Android phone. If you're talking with the same devices, you already have the technology to a send encryption back and forth to Android devices and send encryption back and forth between Apple devices. But with rich communication services, now you can cross post that rich, I'm gonna keep using that word all day, communication service so that you are able to see read receipts between iPhones and Android devices. And you can make sure that everyone who has a smartphone has the same experience. Now, one of the things that RCS offers different than SMX or, or excuse me, SMS text services is that when you send messages with um, SMS, you have a character limit that you have to deal with. So if you had a lengthy text message that you needed to send from an iPhone device to an Android device, it would probably break it up into multiple texts, whereas with RCS, you get one, you get one long text. Uh, also, RCS allows multimedia formats to be sent back and forth between phones, which SMS does not. And then, um, finally, you have to be on a network that supports RCS, which, for the most part, most of them are. But back to the problem that we're experiencing with RCS, it seems that Chinese-sponsored hackers are able to infiltrate text messages. And I think this was caught recently in the Washington DC area, uh, but not nationwide. But with every cyber threat that's out there, it's always the possibility of what could happen if criminals were able to get into your text messages or even your phone calls, which um, is something that should be a concern. Now, if you're an average person, it's a good possibility that you may not be a target from Chinese or other state-sponsored 
hackers. But if you're a business, there's always a good possibility someone's trying to get a hold of your company secrets. So you need to make sure that you are following this video and following the steps that I'm going to share in order to help you keep safe and secure. Now, with individual users, there's always that possibility that criminals can infiltrate your text messages and your voice messages in order to gather information about you so that they can use it later on to exploit you with an AI-based scam. So when we talk about encryption with text and with voice messages, what should you do? Because if you're currently, and well, let's go back. So if you're talking about encryption, again, if you are using an Apple device, calling an, another Apple device, you don't have to worry because that information is already encrypted because Apple devices use the same network. Same thing if you're on an Android device. If you're on an Android device talking to another Android user or even sending text messages, there's no room to worry because you're talking on the same device network. Now, <laughs> it's not always possible to know if you're talking to someone who has a specific device. All you know is a phone number. You don't know if they have Apple or Android. That's why the FBI is saying, hey, you might want to take some steps in order to help encrypt those devices to stay safe and secure. Now, the first thing before we talk about different software methods, other than if you call somebody and they have an Apple or an Android device and you have the similar device, then you're safe. But there's other things that you don't want to do when you're sending out, let's say, text messages. And you should think about this regardless if you're going Apple to Apple or Android to Android. So personal information like address information should not be sent out over text message. Same thing with banking information, routing numbers, bank account numbers. You don't want to send that over text anymore because this problem with RCS is going to get fixed at some point. But as of right now, you need to take steps in order to keep yourself safe. So no sensitive information sent over text messages and no sensitive information should be made over phone calls. Now with everything in the world, there's always an app for that to make sure that if you need it to send out a encrypted voicemail or an encrypted text, there are several services that you can use in order to make sure that you can send that out and be safe and secure. So number one is gonna probably shock you as far as apps you can use, but believe it or not, Meta has got you covered with WhatsApp. WhatsApp is a phone app and a voice app. And the good thing about WhatsApp is that once you download this free app onto your smartphone, whether it be an Android or an Apple device, it utilizes your same phone number. So if you're gonna send messages, you would go into WhatsApp and do your transactions, whether it be a secure voice call, meaning encrypted, same thing with a text message, that information is going to be encrypted. So if you haven't used WhatsApp, now might be the time if you wanna keep those conversations safe and secure that you start to use WhatsApp. Next is an app I have just recently heard of, but many of you may have heard of the Signal app. Signal is another app that you can download to use to make encrypted phone calls and encrypted uh, voice. I said phone calls, <laughs> let's go back encrypted phone calls and encrypted text messages within Signal. And it's pop appearing in popularity because of this whole alert with the FBI and the ability of people wanting to keep their information safe and secure. Now Meta is at it again with another app that you can use that uses end-to-end -end encryption, which basically means both ends are encrypted. And that would be Facebook Messenger. Many people have gotten off Facebook Messenger because of, I won't say it was a hoax, but years ago, Facebook Messenger had some issues, but those issues have been resolved by Meta. So you can definitely get on Facebook Messenger in order to send back encrypted text messages and you can use Messenger to call people directly. So if you wanted to have a conversation that didn't deal on your cellular network, definitely go through Facebook Messenger because, believe it or not, 
it is encrypted. Now, enough with apps. If you have a business, it is time for you, well, I should say especially if you're wanting to get away from using your smartphone as your main business number, which you really shouldn't do anyway. Voice IP is here to save the day with three services in the order of popularity and effectiveness. So you've got Vonage, Ring Central, and UMA Business, which are three top services that will allow you to set up a voice over IP phone number, and then you can utilize that as your main office number or just as a secure number that doesn't really use your cellular network. This is how it works. So with UMA, Ring Central, and Vonage, you would set up an account, a paid account with these three services or just one. Once you pick your favorite one, like for Integral, we use Vonage, which has worked for almost 20 years without problems. <laughs> and you set up an account with Vonage, Ring Central, or UMA. Once that account is set up, you can choose to have an actual physical voice over IP phone in your office, or you could set up either the Vonage app, the Ring Central app, or the UMA Business app on your smartphone, which will allow you to make calls from your smartphone. But before you make the outgoing call, you log into the app and then you would make your phone calls there. What this does is number one, You've got an encrypted phone call with a legitimate service that uses an app. Number two, when you use services such as Vonage, Ring Central, and UMA, and this includes with Messenger and with WhatsApp, well, we won't say WhatsApp, but let's just say with Messenger, your actual phone number is hidden, which means that it will give out the number of your voice over IP service as opposed to your actual cell phone number, which is keeping you safe from criminals. And then finally, it's versatile. Doesn't matter if you have an Apple device or an Android device, the Vonage, Ring Central, or UMA business app will work on all of those devices. And believe it or not, you can even make encrypted phone calls using these three services from your desktop or laptop computer versatile, safe, and secure, and it allows you to encrypt your devices. In today's world where, well, I won't say SMS, well, SMS is going away and we are moving more to an RCS service, it's very important for you to use data encryption. Criminals are looking for new ways every day to get your personal or business information. So you should always take steps to ensure that you're using services that are going to protect your text data and your phone data. So with that said, if you've got comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. Love to hear from you to find out, to help you more encrypt your devices. Again, remember, if you're using Apple to Apple, it's encrypted. Android to Android, it's encrypted. But again, you don't know who you're calling. So it's best just to utilize this service and call out and if you're using WhatsApp, doesn't necessarily, well, it doesn't work well if someone isn't using WhatsApp on their end. Same thing with Messenger. You've got to be a messenger in order to make it happen. But security's there, so make it a part of your repertoire of tools to keep you cyber safe. Also, if you liked this video, be sure to like, share, and comment on it. That way people in your life that struggle with technology use can have a tech buddy like me to go to whenever they have issues. Now, my goal with all of these videos is to make sure that you are op being opened up to a whole new world of ideas and experiences using your devices and gadgets. I love technology and I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe, and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching.